We're looking at more than 20 years effort that finally comes together today as we move forward with ensuring that these wonderful creatures in this incredible habitat that we call the islands of the Bahamas are protected from being exploited and massacred. The situation for sharks in the Bahamas is very different to the rest of the world. This is largely due to landmark decisions banning longline fishing in the late 1990s and the more recent establishment of the Bahamian Shark Sanctuary in 2011. The sustained national stewardship of these important species displayed by the Bahamian government has led to some of the most healthy and diverse shark populations in the world. The total national economic impact of sharks and rays on the Bahamian economy is estimated to be $113.8 million annually. The most important economic species is the Caribbean reef shark, which generates 99% of the revenue. However, the economic importance of three rarer species in the Bahamian Out Islands is actually greater. Great hammerheads in Bimini, tiger sharks in the west end of Grand Bahama, and oceanic white tips off the southern tip of Cat Island. This first of a kind NGO was on the leading edge of setting up the largest shark sanctuary in the Atlantic Ocean back in 2011. Thanks to the hard work of the Bahamas National Trust, the Bahamas is now a shark sanctuary. This means sharks are fully protected and it's illegal to kill or harm them. I wish more people could experience and learn about sharks as they are important in keeping our reefs and fish population healthy. Healthy oceans need sharks and this leadership from the Bahamas National Trust is making a big difference.